What's up guys? Here are my monthly favorite. First is my Too Faced chocolate bar. I've had this palette for a while and I like that you could just use so many colors in here and it's pretty natural. I love chocolate and it smells like chocolate. I'm not wearing any today, I'm just more of a natural look today. Another favorite is my theory class for my master's in nursing. I am passing my class, thank God. I didn't think I would like online classes that much, but I think I'm doing pretty good. I encourage anybody who wants to keep pursuing their goals and dreams and education, go for it. If you have the drive, keep going. Next favorite, well, I didn't really use it this much, but I only use like two brushes in here. My friend bought it for me uh, for Christmas, for a Christmas gift, and I liked how I'm still uh, new to contouring, so it's a good practice. So I've been using it to like contour my nose. And Next is an Ipsy Glam product. Um, it's this Bella Pierre Cosmetics Volume Lash Waterproof Mascara, and I am wearing it on my lashes today. It doesn't clump. I mean, a lot of mascaras when you first use them, they don't clump. When I when I personally use them, but hopefully it doesn't clump in the long run. Right now, it's just awesome. It just goes, as you can see, this is awesome. So, good on this one, Ipsy. I like that one. And I'm a big fan of false lashes, so I like it when it looks kind of fake. Another favorite is my um, Alexa Echo. She needs to be plugged in, so it won't work if, even if you say, Alexa, hey, whatever. So it has to be plugged in in the wall. It's the only downside of it, I guess. I mean, I don't know if a lot of these are um, supposed to be wireless, but I like it when I'm getting ready for work or I leave it overnight for my dog so she doesn't get too much anxiety. <clears throat> All I have to do is just be like, hey, Alexa, play. Hawaiian music on Pandora and then she just goes on and then I tell her to turn it up, turn it down, or shut up, turn off. So I like this, it's pretty neat. Another favorite that I like, you know I have to include a Netflix documentary, it's called Minimalism and I'm going to be reading it in my little notes here for my uh, iPhone. Um, it shows that there is a different way to live instead of buying too much. The documentary talks about why we buy so much and we are not happy. We buy and buy and that we just don't need it. We get tired of the clothes we just bought last week and it's such a big waste. When it comes to housing though, I'm not talking about getting a real small house here. Just talking about the fact that we don't really need so much stuff in our lives and all that just goes to waste when you think about it. So you try to donate everything to Goodwill, but then where does it actually go? Our planet is just really a big waste if you watch it, really. I used to buy so many clothes, like so many, so many clothes, like my closet would be packed and I would get all these hangers and they're screaming at me like we cannot hold your clothes anymore. You could see it in my hauls in my past videos. I got, uh, I got rid of a lot of my clothes. Now I'm using the rest of the clothes that I really like more often and all the other makeup, like that makeup palette that I just said having this for a little bit now, um, I want to use it all up before I can buy something new because the way they advertise and market stuff, it's just you want to buy that, buy, 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 buy. But then it gets thrown in the back and then you just buy more and then it gets expired. So it's nice to just use up everything. And once you have enough, the ones that you really want, you can feel the real value in them. And so that's what I really got the gist of the documentary. So when I think about saving money, I want to save it on traveling and buying food. And then I might, it's just in me that I might buy stuff there while I travel, but I'm gonna probably think more consciously, why do I need it? Do I really want this? When you watch that uh, documentary, it kind of makes you think and you might practice minimalism just a little bit, not over the top where you buy a small house and everything. <laughs> Next favorite is like a horoscope astrology thing. I got a horoscope reading from my good friend Hatsumomo. She's so cute and kawaii. Like, 
I just had to give her a shout out there. Um, she did a reading for me and it shocked me. It was about like my future and everything, where am I going? And that's gonna be part of my huge announcement video coming up pretty soon, okay? So stay tuned, guys. And I guess that's about it right now. So um, that is the end of the video, guys. So please give me a like and subscribe if you like these kind of videos too, okay? Thank you. Through the waves cut through